Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the courtyard making our way through. We have come quite far now, quite far indeed. We did just rescue a prisoner as well, which is something interesting, quite odd that I didn't actually expect. But we are kind of ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to quickly swap these two around like that. Uh, someone said as well, TA said that maybe we should try using smoke out for the powerful blight. Um, it's a really, really strong chance to blight with a four over three and a minus 10 dodge with clear enemy corpses so i'm definitely tempted to do that it is gonna blight teammates but at the same time we can cure blight quite easily so i might give that a go although i really don't know what i'd take off for it because at the minute i'm enjoying his skills so much but maybe that's something that we'll test out either way we're jumping out we've got some um dire wrenches to get into but what we'll probably do is wait until we need to camp if we end up doing that and um, we've got two firewood so we can camp at any point but anyways Let's keep on going. I'm not sure if we have any more locked doors. I'm not sure how close we are to finishing this. Um, but I'm sure we're getting there. I'm sure we're getting close to the viz count, and I am I'm quite ready. So let's jump into our first battle. Getting the surprise right off the bat there is so good. Um, one thing I am going to do as well is um, after this battle, actually, I'm going to take off Revenge and Solemn, uh, or and this whatever this is called. I can't remember the name of it. Sol Solemnity? Um, I'm going to take these two off so that if he acts out, he only ever uses these two. Uh, I think that's going to be a good idea because I've, I've literally not used the other two skills actively at all. So I think that's going to be what I end up doing. But of course, we're going to go with the sanitize and improve tactics. Um, improvise tactics because they're just really, really good. Nice. I'm going to be getting the insta kill there. And, of course, this is going to be much of the same that you guys have been seeing for the past few uh, episodes. But it's all its all in the uh, the quest to push forward to the Viscount and take her out. So, and this team, is, this, this team has been, so far, pretty fantastic for that, to be honest. Been really, really loving it. So, let's carry on with this. What sort of Blight Resist do these sort of enemies have? Eh, not super high, but their bleed their bleed is definitely lower. Um, we don't really have anything here we need to do. Stress levels are really, really low. Let's just get a, a, a heal on Hammurabi just in case. We don't need it, but I think it'll help. Um, and we're going to set off the trap here as well. That the, the trap is just insanely good. As I've said multiple times already, but I, I'm really loving the trap. Unfortunately, not quite that big damage that we need, but still a good hit nonetheless. Soon as this taking a little bit of damage here, mind your manners as well. Hurts a little bit, but not too much. Um, and we'll do this again. This will follow heal her up. Nice. I just love that we take so little damage on soon as this because that amazing amount of prot. Thank you for the suggestion on that, guys. That really helped out a lot. Let's throw that at you. Hopefully get some bleed on you as well as a stun. Yes. Getting that stun off so nice. Takes two turns to set that up, but you've got to remember that the repost can also activate and stop that. So I think it's worthwhile. Uh, the stress is going to start building a little bit here, but not all too much. Mind your manners once more. Taking a little bit more damage there, but we'll heal that, that up on the next round. And this is why I've given these two uh, this. Oh, we actually got the Crimson Curse on um, Sunasis here. I wasn't expecting to get it um, on anyone else, but you, it, it can happen. As you, as you just saw, it can happen. Uh, so we now have two people with the Crimson Curse. Um, Sunasis is, is a lot less of a problem to have it, to be honest. Um... If she acts out, that, that could be quite annoying. But for the most part, it's not going to be too problematic. So much horror. Um, let's go for that. See if we can get that debuff going. We didn't get the debuff, unfortunately. The debuff resistance here are pretty high. Let's lower your damage. Diminished. And hope we can get the insta-kill. Oh, more than hope. We just obliterated you. Absolutely obliterated. That bleed's going to be nice there as well. Thirst coming in. It's okay. Bleed for us. No Hammurabi. No bleeding. Um, let's just do this. Get everyone back up to full. Stress relief a little bit on everyone too. And you should be dead next hit, I think. 16, we should be able to do that, right? Right. Stress levels are all back down to normal apart from Sunasis herself. Let's do a little bit of that. She can protect herself nicely. We set this up just in case we need to. I don't think we'll end up needing it. Hammurabi might act out here, though, so there's that. Let's quickly do this. We do have our bleed in ourselves, but it's only a low bleed, so... One damage over seven rounds. Seven health is nothing, really. Okay, come on. Yes, huge hit. Huge hit. Great stuff. 
We'll quickly crack this open, see what we get. Hard fought reward. Okay, so what we're, just, what we're gonna do real quick is just take these two off because we don't want to act out with those because it's just kind of annoying. Um, Soonasis having the curse is slightly problematic, like I said, but not so much so. The only real problem is the, the minus to maximum HP. Otherwise, I'm not that bothered by it. The minus to maximum HP is a little frustrating to see though. But when she's got a low HP base, 10% really isn't that much, so it's nothing too serious. Just keep pushing forward. Um, ooh, this is kind of a hard fight here. Um, these guys can crit for a lot, so let's hope we can get this out first. Thank God you're going for Hamurabi first, because he's already got the curse, so we don't mind that. I, I really hate having to fight these guys before we get sanitized out. If we don't, it can be pretty problematic, but most of the time we can get it out just fine. We've got to remember as well, she has 50 prop, but she's getting an extra 13 prop or 12 prop, whatever it is, from um, improvised tactics, which is helping out a whole bunch more. So the prop really isn't an issue. I, I doubt soon as this is going to die unless it's some really strong DOT. Uh, which obviously we're hoping to avoid, but... Okay, he's gone back into passive now, which is great. Um, I could go for the crit here. I'd rather just... I mean, I got a crit anyways, but I'd rather just go for the kill. Our blight resist is high enough here that we shouldn't get blighted by this guy up front, but he can crit us. Still taking a lot of horror. Not too problematic. Let's clip your damage a little bit. I really, I, I just love that. You know, to clip them like that's so good. Um, and yeah, let's get, let's get the cure on you. Why not? And finish you off. Nice. This guy's still got full health, but that's, that's fine. Do that real quick. Didn't need the heal, but setting up that proc's really nice. Means if he goes for the skull toss, it shouldn't be as problematic. And I'm guessing he will. Okay, now let's try this out. Debuff's only 60%, so we'll probably get it. We did indeed. And hopefully this could lead to a kill. Set up the trap as well. I just, I really like the tactics of this group. But like, let's completely set aside how powerful it is. I just really like the, the moves that they're doing to survive here. It's, it's, it's interesting. We've got this guy coming in with the huge damage chops, the exterminator out there ready with the traps. Um, Amaris basically hurting herself to heal others. I think that's great. Um, just do that, make sure you do you don't take any extra damage that you don't need to. And then there you go. There's the crit as well. Hopefully the stun. Nah, no stun. He does have fairly high stun resist, 90%. So I was kind of expecting that, but that's okay. Um, let's do this. Get stress relief on everyone. Only a small amount, but it's enough. Little bit of a chop there, but we resisted both of those. And this should be him ended. Nice. It indeed is. Indeed, the Curse Champion falls. Right, we carry on. Push forward until the tasks end. Still haven't needed to camp yet. I'm probably going to save camping until right before the boss. But we still don't know where that is yet. So we still got quite a ways before we, before we look into that. And uh, we should have enough blood here to sustain. 12 blood should be more than enough. Nice. Disarm there, Percy. Yeah, tw 12 blood should be more than enough to sustain this group. I mean, there's only two people with the curse right now. And we had four last time, didn't we? I think all four people had it. Maybe three. And we had a lot less, a lot less blood then. So we should be okay here. Please get the surprise. This, basically, this opening move is essentially where we could end up taking the more curses. Amorous, though, does have insane resists to this. So she shouldn't see it. But Percy might. Even though Percy also has good resists to it. Okay, so we're taking quite a lot of stress here. Uh, we, we definitely want to turn that down a little bit. We still have to start with improvised tactics nonetheless, though. Whether we want to get rid of that or not. Um, um, let's just set up the repurse here, I think. It's going to heal everyone up to full anyways, pretty much. Percy's one off. Finished you off immediately. Great. This thing could hurt. And it did. And it did. Oh, my God. That, that attack... That attack is broken dumb. Gives a bunch of stress, gives a bleed, does a lot of damage, can crit. It's just, oh, it's just wild. It's wild how absurd that is. Nice dodge there, Sunasis. Right. Um, I think we clip you just for the obvious reason. Um, this is kind of a tough decision here. Um, I think what we do is... We go for stress relief, even though we've got people with bleed, just because your stress is getting a little out of hand. And here we go for the full party heal on everyone. Uh, wait a minute. 
yeah, we go for the full party heal here. Huge heal on everyone, and it should mean that this bleed doesn't matter all too much. That helps out a lot. And we resist the move as well. Great. Okay, this should kill the guy in the back. There you go. Bombing run coming in. That can be annoying, especially if we get more bleed. We got... Yeah, we did get more bleed there. We definitely want to get rid of this now. In fact, I'm so I'm so much so that I'm just going to get rid of it like that. I, I know we could wait for Soon Assist to come around, but she needs to stress heal. Um, I am going to do this, though, because your bleed's getting pretty high and you need the healing, so I'd rather do that. Let's get that going as well for the extra healing there. Percy's getting a little low as well, so I'd like to try and heal him up a little bit. And Hammurabi going in for this quick strike, taking a kill. The bodies are a little bit problematic here, but Percy should be able to help out with um, a nice kick and a stun. Kick of that trap and stunned. Resisted the disease there. Very nice. There we go. I love the fact that that's got such a high chance to crit. I don't know if we're just getting lucky, but it seems to crit very often. Um, yeah, let's do this. Now you're down to 25. And yeah, do this. This will give a good heal. Everyone's in a better spot now. And 51. Wow. Beautiful to see. Beautiful. Cool. And we push on. Okay, so we might we might end up looping around here. Um we are we are kind of heading back this way, but I I don't know. I doubt I doubt this is the way we were supposed to go. I think we are on the right path right now. Um, we're slowly but surely running out of resources, but we're, we're, we're getting plenty of them back as well, so I'm not too worried about our resource management right now. I'm surprised we still haven't found it. This is a very long dungeon. Uh, we got another one of these. Unfortunately, Percy keeps doing this. We, we have a pretty good, um, chance at getting firewood from these, and Percy's just like, no, no, no. No, you do not. Which is fine, because we only need two firewood. I, d I doubt more than that is going to be useful, but... It's still annoying. <laughs> it's still very annoying. Get that going. But Percy's just like a fiend for wine now. <laughs> He's just drinking it all. Nice hit. Get that going. I just love the fact that everyone's zero stress most of the time here. First coming again. Ow. Ow. That hurt. Wow. That hurt a lot. I think we just go for the kill here. God damn. Um, we definitely need to stress heal now. Munch coming in. Okay, we resisted that quite nicely. The crits are insane right now. The crits are absolutely insane. I love this massive buff tree we got going on here. Um, I actually think we just do this again. This is so good, and it's a good stress heal as well. Just clip you just in case. Want to get an extra few turns out of stress healing here. Get a below 20, really. We don't know if we'll end up doing that, but we can try. But yeah, as we're taking only one damage and no blight, kind of makes sense right now, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go for the kill. Oh my god, the crits. Hamurabi, you better keep these up. You better keep these up. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. I'm gonna take the blood over this. I think I think the blood's more valuable right now. So we can start using it for trading. We've only got three of those left, and we've got obviously an insane amount of food. 90, 94. Very highly doubt we're gonna need any more than that. So I'm not really worried there. Please get a surprise. Oh no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> that was this is this is right here probably one of the worst scenarios for us uh, luckily we've not got terrible enemies but they're still pretty bad um hmm i think we have to just go sanitize here it's too valuable and we move everyone else around after but that is not what i meant at all thank god you didn't get the horror there there we go. We're back into a position where we can do most things now. Right, it took a little while, but it took a few turns, but we got there. Sad that we didn't get the kill there. Fairy Blast. Hopefully no stun. Damn. It's exactly who I didn't want to get stunned as well. 
Okay, you healed up. That's okay, though. You pushed yourself to the front. Made yourself a bit weaker for us. More stress coming in. Oh, for heck's sake, leave her alone. This is really problematic, because now Amaris and Hamurabi both can't do anything. So we're going to have to do this here. Stop! God damn it! This is really bad. Th these guys moving us around has gone dirt, you dare. Leave her alone. Holy shit. No! This is awful. This is genuinely awful. This 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 could this could end us right now. This could end us right now. Do what you're doing! Leave her alone! There's so many other people you could hit right now! There's so many other people you could hit right now. Amorous needs to have her turn, like right now. Do not stun. What the fuck is this? What the f- Oh my god, powerful. Holy shit, thank god. We still need to heal her though. Holy fucking hell. First of all, get rid of that. Second of all, I think we go with this. I've only healed you for eight. Why? You needed a lot more healing than that. Thank God you're gone. This is still really bad, by the way. This is still really, really bad. Oh my God. I'm still really stressed out right now. Please don't bleed either of them. Fucking God, why bleed on her? Get rid of that bleed. Oh, why did he do that? Stupid. That was really stupid. Oh my god. Only 10? You can heal up to like 50 with this thing. God damn. Why? Just thank god. Just leave her alone. At least we got powerful there. Makes me feel a lot better. Holy hell. Makes me feel a lot, lot better. If we hadn't have got that, I'd have been super upset because that went so south so fast. <laughs> Leave her alone. God damn, she does not need this stress. She does not need this stress. There you go. God. That was a nightmare. Was it please stun? Yes. That was an absolute nightmare. Oh. Back up to full. And you are brought forward. Good. We can use this as an extra turn to set up another trap. Not that it'll stun him, but it'll still do good damage. I know that him in the back isn't great because he can't really do anything, but as long as he can do that, we didn't even have improvised tactics up that entire round. That's another reason why we fucked up so bad there. I kind of forgot about that. That was a very clear reason why we were taking so much damage. A lot, a lot less accuracy, a lot less prop all around. They wanted Sunus's blood there, though. They really did. At least she's powerful for the rest of the mission now. I don't exactly know what buff she's going to get from powerful, but I'm happy to have him. Tell you what, I'm happy to have him. There we go. Kick the trap to end that off. Holy hell. That was very stressful. Um, do, can we see what she's getting from that? Uh, plus 25 from Virtue. Um, plus 25 from Virtue. Plus 25 from Virtue. Plus 25 from Virtue. Plus 25 from Virtue. She's getting disease resist as well. Okay, she's got some really, really nice buffs there. Obviously, the damage one just does not matter. But... The, all the other stuff here, uh, really, really good. Really, really good. Oh, my God. That stressed me out something chronic, that did. That was, uh, that was bad. Okay, you need some more blood. Do you have to touch that? Resisted, okay. Almost took a disease there. Ooh, we've got another lock gate here. So this is our second lock gate. Do not make me go all the way back there. I will be majorly upset if you make me go all the way back there. Uh, we're probably going to have to just go around it through this way. And I'm really hoping it lets us do that. Because, like I said, I will be majorly upset if it does not. 
I'm just gonna quickly eat some food here to get to full health. Why not? Oh my god. Okay, this is weird. This is taking me on an odd direction. Ooh, nice dodge there. That was unexpected. Unexpected indeed. Oh, please just take me in the right path. Okay. Yes. Getting the surprise in these guys lets us set up. And I like to set up. What buff did they all get then? Plus 15 damage for four rounds. Is that from Powerful? I think that is, you know. I think she just gave everyone um, a pretty nice buff for four rounds. Very much like to see that. In fact, no. <laughs> in fact, I will not use that at all. At least they're surprised, so it doesn't matter. I mean, they're going to get a few moves in a row here. Which is certainly problematic, but while they're at full health, it doesn't matter. They're not going to heal for anything, so... All three of these are going to get to go first, though. Probably twice in a row, actually. Why do you always crit? No! What? The hell? Okay, crits must increase the chance for Crimson Curse. Because... Amorous had absurd disease resist. Absurd. Can you stop, guys? Can you just let me have a turn, please? Right, let's just take a look at this. Disease resist, 88. Plus, plus, 45. A hundred and something percent. And it still failed. And it still failed. That's absurd. So Percy's the only one left without it now. I'm glad I took the extra blood. Wow. Things are just not going well for us right now. I don't know what's going on. But these, these, these last few fights have been really tough. I swear, they've been really, really tough. I am super surprised if anyone that Amorous took that then. Wow. <laughs> 66. That's insane. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Holy hell. You can stop doing damage, please. Bombing run coming in. Nice resist. Give him another buff. 30% damage for four rounds. Damn. That's so good. That's going to help out a bunch for the uh, Viscount. Luckily, all these guys will, um, will lose the curse once we beat the boss, if we beat it. Uh, so that's not too bad. 47, lovely. That's uh, coming in again. You, da you, dealt, you dealt one damage and healed for 20. Is that fair? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Set up the trap again. Okay. This is bad. Her being in craving is terrible because her randomly choosing things is very, very not good. <laughs> we really needed to be doing exactly what we want her to because uh, a lot of their moves are very important, especially the cure, blight, and bleed. Stress minus 15. That's good. We always need to take that bleed. That bleed must be a really high chance. And hopefully you're dead. Unbalanced. But you're stunned at least. There you go. This should this should have the key in it. It did last time. As I don't know. Well, I don't know what slot we're gonna carry so the key in though. That's that's something I didn't really think about. Um, the container yields a key. Yeah. What we're gonna where are we gonna put the key? <laughs> I don't really think about this. Um, I guess we take it over the holy water. I don't know. Is that a good idea? Maybe the bandages? Nah, I'll just go with the busts. The busts are nice, but I don't really care. Okay. So yeah, these two are now in bloodlust. Her being in bloodlust is definitely the worst, because the speed is nice, but we do not need the damage. And we, we can't have her acting out. Her acting out is going to lead to some really troubling problems, especially if she acts out first turn, and we don't get to use improvised tactics. Okay, you're back into passive now. That's great. It's annoying as well because the, the Bloodlust can last seemingly random amount of times. Like, sometimes it lasts a really long time, sometimes it doesn't. Through this locked gate we go. We've got to be close now, right? Has to be pretty much the end of this. We've been going for so long. 
We don't have any of that. We don't have any of it in either of these. That's fine. Three of them in a row. Don't have any of it. Oh, here it is. Here's the boss. Wasn't ready for that, but there you go. Was not ready for that. Should have camped before this, but oh well. So essentially, this, this character is going to be healing off of these bodies. We can either try to kill the bodies um, to try to kill the bodies to stop her from healing, or we could just out damage her. I'm going to try and out damage her, but I, I don't know if that'll work. Okay, that hurt a little bit. That's okay, though. 29. I don't really know what her moves are either, so that's going to be interesting. Moving back like that's annoying, and a repost as well. Um, I think here we go for healing. Damn. The trap's going to be good, but we can't do call and restrain at the minute. Having us feast. 50 healing. Wow. Okay. I might have come into this a little ill-prepared, you know. I did not know that she can move all the way back like this. <laughs> not something I was prepared for at all. I have to say. 30. Oh, really? So close to killing it. Um, Stress relief. Do that on you just in case. Stress relief is not something I'm super worried about here, but we'll go for it when we can. Another trap set up. Why not? While you're stunned. Stun's only going to take off one move here. Okay, there's one body gone at least. Yeah, maybe we just want to take out the bodies then. I got, I got told not to worry about the bodies, but honestly, I think it's going to be the best tactic for us right now. Right. Square meal. That's okay. DOTs seem good against her, but you have to get them like, all stacked up in one go because she cures them off when she eats. Okay, the stress there is the biggest problem. Nice. Hopefully another stun. Doubt it though. Nope, we got one. Nice. Okay, nice. You're passive now. That's great. Um, I think we just stress relief off ourselves here. Make sure that doesn't get too high. Okay, that stun definitely helps. It's annoying that we just can't quite reach for collar and restrain right now. Because that would help out a ton. But we just can't get it. Okay, that's a nice resist heal there. Resisted the stun this time, but that was to be expected, really. Um, yeah, we're going to keep doing this. And you can take out this body. Almost. Um, stress relief there. Percy's getting a little weak, but that's okay. Set that up again now that your stun resist is gone. I mean, it's really nice because it's just debuffing this dodge as well. Right, now you're within reach. Now you're within reach. I don't know what she does once all the bodies are gone. There might be some moves that she does that are unexpected. Um, but we'll get to that when we come to it. Let's do that. Nice. Going for him is great, especially when the dodge to be at the stun. We did. Nice. Even though he has three moves. This count is nice to get that on. Okay, let's try this out. Sadly, didn't get the debuff. We did get that one, though. That helps out an insane amount. An insane amount. So I think we just go with Q here to try and get the body and her at the same time. Yeah, look at that. Very low damage. The stress is coming in, but the, the, the low damage is okay. Okay, not too bad. We shouldn't have to worry about damage at all now that, now that we can hit her with the uh, debuff. Keep going for that. Try and get it. Yes, we got it. Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's keep on with doing this for that stress healing. It's only small amounts, but if we get crits, we get a good amount there. I don't think she can stun. Don't think the Viscount can stun us. Just go for big damage here. I don't know if that's a good idea, but seemed like it. She's actually got a pretty small health pool, surprisingly so. Did get bled there. We can sort that out in a sec. Okay, got some good dodges there. Stress is getting a little high. Let's set up this again. 
and let's do that, I think. I think that's better. Getting rid of that bleed. Okay, there's the Revenant Seeds. That's going to be another 50 healing. So we do need to take out the body, really, because it's just not going to happen without that, is it? Um, keep on going with this, I think. It's just working out so well right now, and we don't need the big heals yet. We need to save our heals, because Amaris cannot heal herself too much. And now we need it, look. Right, like, like I just saw. There we go. Nice stun. Okay, Amaris is getting close to... Um, getting close to... Stress check. So we're going to use this. Sets up the prop. Gives us a heal. Sets up a stress heal as well. We've got no uses remaining of that now, though. Clip you again. As long as that, as long as that connects, that's really good. A, the divine power for that 15% extra damage is so good. Um, I think we go with that and heal up a little bit on Amorous here, just in case. Nice stun. Damn, this 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 last body's got a lot of HP. I was really hoping that I'd finish it off, but it just didn't. One more should get it though. I don't think the bodies can be healed. Okay, that pairing's annoying because that's the stress that's coming in. Percy's doing just fine though. Percy's chilling. But everyone else is having a bit of a hard time here. Um Yeah. De-stress a little bit here. Reduces incoming stress as well, gotta remember that. Okay, set up that repost once more. Get that going. Nice. Good heals there all around. Really, really, the Hungry Eyes just keeps coming out on Hammurabi here. Which is fine, honestly, but don't eat, please. Okay, that was annoying, but we get the stun. Oh my god, a 23 crit. We can go for the kill right now. That was unexpected. If we get, if we actually hit her here, it's, we've done it. Yes. Yes. We got ourselves this and the blueprint. Uh, so this is, let's have a look. The bloody mask. Uh, let's go and return to the hamlet. Let's check out the bloody mask in a moment as well. Because that seems, that seems like an interesting trinket there. So let's have a look at what we what we got out of that. So we got the Duchess only, minus 30% stress in the courtyard, plus 30% healing. That's pretty good, deep to the court. The Privateer, extra stress healing, extra healing, extra accuracy, and extra damage. And the Keeper, minus 10 stress, on friendly skill target, minus 3 stress. That's also really good. Okay. And also, all of this. Great stuff. Amorous is level 6 now as well. Good stuff. We did it, guys. We did it. Hard fought, but we got the victory. And I'm very happy. Thank you, TEA, especially, the for giving us the, the, the keys to the kingdom. The heirs of the estate feel narrowly agreeable once again. Indeed. Uh, let's quickly remove all our trinkets and sort them. I just want to check out what that uh, trinket was for this one here. 25% uh, healing received if in position one. P what? That's so good. Extra healing if in position one, extra healing received if below 20, and attack hit heal self. Imagine pairing this with, um, pairing this with something like the, what's it called? Where is it? Uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, the Otherworldly Bell, or even the Slime Jar. God damn, that'd be so good. His other trinkets, though, we could pair it with some of them, because he, he's got some really good trinkets himself, to be honest. So we could go with, like, that and, um, like, this. Extra maximum HP, extra virtue chance, ex uh, less stress. Or we could go with this for the extra accuracy crit scouting chance. Uh, Monster Surprised. That's really good, that one. Both of these together could be just insane. Yeah, Pitfire's in a good place right now. Let's check our trinkets really quick. We've got Immune to Death by the Crimson Curse. Interesting. Um, oh, we've got, we got some interesting ones here. I don't really get why you'd use this, but it in, is interesting. Uh, the Sun-Edged Metal, minus, uh, plus 50% Torch Increased Skills. Um, minus 20% Stress when Guarding. On-Kill Party Buff 
target plus one percent virtue chance then mantra of fasting plus 40 percent maximum hp if crimson cares wasting that's pretty cool and uh, then we got the old man's ammo plus 20 percent um armor piercing to ranged skills on ranged hit bleed minus 40 percent debuff skill chance of ranged skills that's also interesting um i like the idea of this let's uh, quickly check to see if there's a new syringe Sadly not. Always going to be checking for that. Uh, but we'll, we'll check what the other trinkets are as well and see if there's anything here we want. Because um, there's, there's, there's bound to be some good stuff here. So just a bleed trinket, which is, which is kind of interesting. Um, God damn, plus 30 virtue chance on Antiquarian. That's also really good. interesting stuff there and then we'll quickly check out this because it's got a symbol for us um right do we have anyone here that we need to rank up i don't think we do i think we've, we've got virtually zero level fours now we've got a few well says virtually zero we've still got quite a lot but not tons let's just check out the who we've got so butcher privateer hive no, we don't need to do any of those. And in the next episode, I've I've been putting this off for a while now. But in the next episode, the the um the chaplain and the um what's the other class as well? Yes, the duelist will be introduced and be jumping onto those stories for those guys. Ah, here's our rescued one, Renault rescued. So we're gonna we're gonna bring um we're gonna bring Renault on and see because there's going to be a backstory for that um and that's a salamander so kind of interesting we'll keep that and yeah uh, either way uh i do you know i didn't even go into the diary entries for today so let's go into those now i was gonna I, I was about to end the episode and i realized i haven't done the diary so let's jump into those we've got a few not tons we've got a few here um first one we got actually all of them here from tea first one's for hammurabi our leper they take a quick rest in the, one of the less muddy stoke se sections of the plaza. Hammurabi wipes his blade clean of the blood that soaked it. They had been here in air for nearly a day now, and there was not, not a moment where Hammurabi, Hammurabi's sword was dry. I'm in the courtyard, and it stinks of blood and the rot. The monsters here are different. They show a level of intelligence to match ours, and a ferocity to match the pig beasts in the warrens. They are born of this disease. I don't think it's a simple disease, though. It's more than that. A disease does not have the power to steal your mind without destroying it, and to change your body so drastically without killing it. Even still, each of them fell quickly to the Reaper. Uh, just a hunk of metal, they're still mortal after all. Wow. And the next one here is uh, for our Arbalist, um, Aurora, who just recently was cured of the curse, but she had it um, just before this. As I write this, an incessant pain keeps crawling up and down my arm, bouncing from my shoulders to my fingertips and back. Additionally, the thirst for blood is creeping into my mind, and my throat hurts. Spots of blood stain the page. I've been told that I can ignore it for some time before it becomes serious. Now it's just a test of my willpower. Sometime later, this is additionally written, but poorly, as if the writer had little control over the utensils they were using to write. They must return, quickly. As they return, the light can, uh, can will it. Oh gods, the tips of my fingers tore open, but it hardly bled. There is a hard shell there now, and I can't stop shaking. I need Isaac. I need him so bad. The message ends there, and Aurora slumps unconscious to the floor. Wow. The curse was taking over her, so they... This return was... was couldn't have come a moment sooner. This was very, very, very good that they came back now. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.